Hello everyone, Owen Giles here with Why Christianity. If you tuned in a couple of weeks ago to our live broadcast with Ministry to Muslims, you know that we ran out of time and we didn't get a chance to respond to the entire interview between Moeed and a young man named Edward who converted to Islam. So I thought it was very important that we address this last uh, section of the video and, and the question is being asked here is, do you think the reactions against the Muslim immigrants and Islam is color-based or is it faith-based? That's the question. Let's watch our video. So any, I have a very tricky question for you. It's a complex question. God. When you look at most of the immigrants that come to Europe from Morocco, I mean, Turkish are fair-skinned, but Moroccans are often not fair-skinned. Yeah. Do you think the reaction against the Muslim immigrants and Islam is also color-based or is just the faith-based? No, faith-based. It's a faith-based. Yeah, because uh, yesterday there was a famous, uh, um, if, you know it, uh, if you know the world boxer, he, he's the biggest boxer, Floyd Mayweather, he has a, a person next to him. He is actually one of the biggest boxer at the moment. He became yesterday, he converted yesterday in Muslim. So, no, it's not color-based. I think everybody can be Muslim. If you have the heart and the spirit, if then you can you can be a, a Muslim. Well, the prejudice which the people face, the Muslims' Islamophobia. Yeah. You being a white person from Europe, do you yeah. feel the same stench of the Islamophobia as a brown Muslim faces? That is, I mean, as you more powerful than and a, a person that has to uh, grow up with a Muslim culture. I feel more. I, I remember I was in the mosque. I go Fridays uh, with a friend of mine in uh, when I'm back in UK, uh, in Fulham or in Mayfair. I sit there and do my duas for three hours and we speak. Uh, obvious I have tattoos and, and uh, they're not even actually stereotypes. You know, they always say this is between you and Allah. And even I went to Saudi, no comment. But when I speak with the Dutch people, they're like, are oh, you Muslim? Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Why? Why are you Muslim? Mm. And so there's a big stereotype now, and especially because the prime minister in Holland makes it even worse. And they don't see what kind of amazing belief and peace Muslim are. Best I can tell, Eddie doesn't understand this question. Moeed is talking about the immigrants who have come to Europe and he's um, asking about how the native people there have responded to them. Is their reaction to these Moroccan and Turkish immigrants color-based or faith-based? That's the question. And his answer is that it's faith-based because of a popular boxer, Floyd Mayweather's and his supposed conversion to Islam. Edward says he become a Muslim, but I did a little research and I don't think that's the case at all. But anyhow, he goes on to say that everybody can become a Muslim. Don't disagree with that. But he's, he, he's really not answering the question that Moed has asked him. So Moed tries to get him back on topic, and I'm quoting him here. He says, the prejudice that the people face, the Muslims and Islamophobia, you being a white person from Europe, do you feel the stench of Islamophobia as a brown Muslim faces? End quote. And folks, the real stench here is the race baiting and how he tries to present Muslims as the victims of racism. But all we have to do is look at the Quran. All we have to do is look at the Islamic sources to refute this, this idea. And once again, we see that Islam is the real problem. Basically, Muhammad was a white man who owned and abused black slaves, especially women who were his sex slaves. So I want to answer two questions. Number one, what did Muhammad look like? Sahih Bukhari, number 63, someone walks up to Muhammad and his companions and asks, which one of you is Muhammad? This hadith tells us that the prophet was sitting among his companions, leaning on his arm, and the companions replied to this man saying, this white man 
reclining on his arm. Sahih Muslim 6072 said that he had a white complexion. We see this over and over and over again. Muhammad is described as a pale, a white man. This is, this is just how they described him. Second question, did Muhammad treat all ethnic groups the same? Bakari number 7263 tells us that he owned black slaves. The biography of Muhammad. Uh, here we learn that he owned a black slave who became pregnant with his child. Page 653. Bakari, number 7142, instructs Muslims to listen and obey your imam, even if he is an Ethiopian slave whose head looks like a raisin. And while the prophet of Allah is a white man, we're told that Satan is a black man with long flowing hair. Page 243 of the biography of Muhammad. So everything that Edward is looking for is found in Jesus Christ. It's found in Christianity. The Bible says in Galatians 3.28 that there's neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for you are all one in Christ. The Bible tells us that you know, someday the, the nations, every ethnic group in the world is going to be in, in heaven because of Jesus Christ. Every human being is made in the image of God, regardless of their ethnic background, the color of their skin. We're, we're all valuable to the Lord Jesus Christ. So Edward seems to be looking for peace, joy, security, compassion, love, all of these things are found in the Lord Jesus Christ. So plain and simple, Jesus is superior to Muhammad and Christianity is superior to Islam.